we're in Ho Chi Minh City today and we are gonna do a tour of the Chu Chi Tunnels. Hey, we're Shane David. In January, we left our family, friends, and careers behind in Canada to travel the world for one year. We plan to visit over 30 countries this year and want to bring you along for the adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along on our travels. The tour costs us about 20 US each and we're pretty excited because we actually have a tour guide. Most of the time they just bring you to the destination and drop you off but now we'll actually get to learn the history of the place we're going. Okay, so the Chu Chi tunnels are underground tunnels that the Vietnamese used during the Vietnamese War, and they used the tunnels to hide from Americans and to transport food and medical supplies and equipment, and the entrances to the tunnels had often had like booby traps and stuff, so the Americans couldn't find them, or the Americans would get hurt or killed if they tried to go in the tunnels. That's gonna be Shay right there, popping in and out of the tunnel. All right, we just got on the bus and in the tour office, one of the tour guides saw my camera and microphone and switched my name tag here because he didn't want to be in our video for some reason. But, well, maybe, that might not be the reason why. Yeah, but we're on the bus. Our tour guide's name is Lara and now we have an hour and a half drive to the tunnels. So it's a very nice bus too. We booked the tour with Get Your Guide and it's about six hours and this is the one starting at noon and it's very on time so far. Okay, stop number one on our tour is this little coffee shop and then a lacquerware made by handicapped people since 1979. We're about five minutes here and then we're back on the bus. To the tunnel, not other area, because some reason. At first location, one side of Guoji is near Saigon. They under control of Chi I. Chi I they want to find out who's VC, who's local basement. That means any people from red to yellow have to stop at the blue basement. And the big. Okay, we just got to the tunnels. It's very hot, and we are starting our tour. Gun, the machine gun. It can uh, it can shoot about up to 900 bullets in one minute. So the G, the VC always thinking how to stop the army operation. And the idea is to put the fear in the mind. It's trap inside, and you can measure by eye. A trap about two meter deep. Some trap is see deeper, about two to three meter deep. That means when the GI has a big side, when they have a wrong step, their full body inside. But sometimes they die immediately. In it, we will come out first. Do not find out by the GI, and we can try this. Who is the first volunteer in our group? Do you want to try? The baby? <laughs> Where's your cover? Yes, hold the cat first. Yes, and arms up. Take a picture before we go inside. And the mic is like, oh my god. Yes, that's how it's for it. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and they go away. They won't go closer to air ventilation. But the GI don't have enough of the chili powder. And if the dog always sneezes very heavily, the GI will get down. Why? They will find out. So we still have another idea. They have a close. Easy, have a look. 
trap with a false spike in the false thigh. This thigh is for one fit of the body. This section. When they have a wrong step, false spike will go out and fix exactly this direction. The next one, climbing arm with trap. It is thigh in one body. When some people, they uh, fall down the trap, they tend to arms out like this, hold something outside, and two bar stuck to arm base, and they can't use them anymore. The next one, rolling trap, true roll every shot. You know when the GI, they go to the GD suit, they use the plane and helicopter, and they jump down directly from the plane. We just, we, we just set, uh, we just set a uh, station over there on the swan, on the ground, where the GI maybe can land on that, and sometimes they jump down exactly the trap like this. And we have a durian over here, not for it, but no baby trap. Okay, <laughs> relax to the art volunteer. This is an actual entrance to one of the original tunnels. You can see how big my foot is compared to the entrance, and they used to mark it on the trees so they know where the entrance was. Okay, the tour is moving pretty fast. We're just walking through a whole bunch of different things. It's super cool to see what was made and used during the war. The tour does feel a bit rushed as usual, but I think now we're going to go shoot some guns. Okay, it was about $80 to shoot 20 bullets, but how many, how many people can say they shot an AK-47 and an M16 in Vietnam at the Choo Choo Tunnels? We can, so that's pretty cool. Now we're walking through the forest again, got some waters to revive us, and it is still very hot, about 40 degrees. Yeah, it's literally 37 degrees. And we are loving it. Ready for this? This will be a How's it look? Okay, we just 
just crawled about 20 meters in the tunnel, so we could have kept going, but it was getting smaller and darker and very claustrophobic, so we're taking the first exit out. Let me show you what it looks like, because I was just behind shade the whole time, so this is what it's like going into it. All right, new fear unlocked. I guess we're claustrophobic. <laughs> Holy crap, that was scary for a second. The scary thing is, is people can be behind you and in front of you. So if you are claustrophobic, you can't go front or back. You just have to keep waiting. Yep. We did it though. Good job. We'll we tell people. We'll tell people we did the longest one. Wow. That's the end of our tour. It only lasted like an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Yeah. Not enough time here. I think. Again, it might be beneficial to just come on your own, even though the drive was kind of crazy. But really good information. This is the first time we've had a tour guide that tells us about the place we are, so we really appreciated that. Yeah, we learned a lot about Vietnam. It was really good. And now back on the bus, two hours to Ho Chi Minh City. Overall, the tour felt pretty rushed. There were some guns here near the entrance we didn't get to look at, so we asked the tour guide if we could run back quickly, so we just looked through all the guns before we had to go back on the bus. Ho Chi Minh City and we'll see you in another episode. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.